Oh my god, I look so gross and I feel like I've lost my voice and oh my god, I'm like sunburned I think <gasps> Dude, I put on so much sunscreen. Okay, whatever. Bye Okay, finally back from seaside. I'm so exhausted and so tired. I don't know how people do it Like my back hurts. I'm like somber. I've definitely lost my voice I'm just so exhausted. Yeah, I didn't like vlog anything actually all day until the end of the day after we were done playing because we had to wake up early, started playing at like 9 a.m. And then I had like some breaks in between games, but that was just me kind of like going and refilling my water bottles and then like talking to Rand for a little bit. I think like today was super fun. I think I had the most fun during quads because there's like four of us and so we each can kind of pick each other up and like keep the energy up i felt like technically i played pretty well and my attitude was also pretty good too i just think i did well and maybe it was because i was signed up for novice and all i had to really do was pass and like dig and those are my favorite things to do and sam was the one that was just hitting the whole time like i got to hit a couple times but i think when we wanted to win rohan would just set sam the whole time which was totally fine with me <laughs> but yeah i had a lot of fun being on the same team with nicole and rohan and surprisingly sam too i think like i don't know him as well and he's a lot younger than me so i always think he's like a child that we have to take care of but yeah he's super good at having like a good attitude and making it fun and keeping the energy up so i thought our quads team was super 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 fun and synergy synergetic is that a word i don't know i think i'm proud of myself today too mentally because i guess like i learned some information that was a little bit of a bummer but also like not really and then i tried not to let it affect my game and like be really mindful and not think about it too much during the game and just focus on the game and i think i was for the most part able to do that then afterwards i like talked to nicole about it just to like kind of maybe like reassure myself or validate that i want to i guess think about it this way and like behave this way and feel this way and whatever yeah that was like really helpful and i love nicole i'm so glad that she's in my life and i feel like she's so easy to talk to and in a way i feel like she's like my older sister and so motherly also because i was like taking care of everyone even though she's like much younger than me but i think like because she grew up in the family that she did she like learned to like mature faster if that makes sense so I really feel like in a way we're the same age we finished playing and it was such a good day and the only like other bummer i would say is on the car ride back like my back was just hurting like i've been trying to stretch it all day but i think the way that my back is just like naturally curved or the way i naturally like to sit too is like arced where it's like as if i'm doing a back bend as i'm standing or sitting and I think I don't engage my core enough whenever I do anything, so like my lower back gets really strained. And then when I play a lot of volleyball, it starts to hurt. And so just like sitting in the car was really painful. And then like my mind was racing about the thing that was like bothering me. And I just like couldn't think about anything else except for like the pain and that. And so I just like tried to kind of sleep to kind of get rid of it and like feel numb for a little bit. And then, yeah. I was like telling myself like okay it's okay to feel this way and to be sad about it so I'm just gonna let myself feel this way for now and then when I get home I'm gonna maybe like vlog about it and then like move forward and not let it get to me tomorrow and like focus on like living my life and moving forward. I'm super proud of myself this past weekend. I think I played good volleyball at least the best that I could have played even though it's not that high level but it's still good and like it's okay to be mediocre at your hobbies and I'm trying to remind myself of that and i think most importantly like i think i was like talking and communicating and just had a really good attitude and i'm super excited to try to keep playing with like nicole rohan rand even kyra and like play more indoor and like gain confidence in myself because i think that's really what what the goal was for me signing up for like these tournaments was to try to gain confidence in myself and if I look back on my like last few years here, I feel like I've grown a lot in volleyball. Like, I moved here, didn't know anything really about indoor. And, yeah, the first winter here was when I learned indoor. Didn't really play a lot of grass until the end of the summer, which was last year when I, like, actually met Alex. And then, I don't know, yeah, kept playing beach. Then, 
played some indoor but like not really still very not confident in myself but this year is going to be different and i think it's just going to be me getting more confident in my indoor abilities and we'll see what happens but i have no idea what to expect and i think that's i don't know kind of exciting in its own way